Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Claudia, hmm? what did you do about those tickets? What did I do about what tickets? No, so you haven't done anything about them. Of course not. How could I when I don't even know what you're talking about? Heaven grant me patience. Oh, me too, too. I haven't thought it. David, what are the tickets for and when? Well, don't you remember anything? Well... It depends on how much else I have to remember. Now, recently, I've had a great deal to remember. Yes, I'm worried about you. Now, tell me everything. Now, you're all settled comfortably, yes, are you? Yes, fine. Mm-hmm. You don't mind taking five minutes from your book? No, not at all. And if you'll make an effort, you'll remember that we have purchased four tickets for the orchestra concert at the East Brook Town Hall for tomorrow night. We did that? We certainly did. Now, what do you suppose made us do that? Well, in the first place, we wanted to go. In the second place, the concert is for the benefit of the hospital. I think I'm starting to remember. Oh, brilliant. But why'd we buy four tickets? We're only two. As I remember, you said that four tickets came out to a nice, even number. Did I say that? That was your comment, yes. Hmm? Pretty smart of me, wasn't it? Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Besides, it was for charity. That that, makes a difference. Yeah, that was incidental, though. And now you want to know what I've done about the tickets, I suppose. Exactly, exactly. Well, I haven't done anything about them, except forget about them. Now, that point seems to be clear. And I've explained to you why. Now, now please. Now, let's not go into that again. Well, then there's nothing more to be said. Can I read my book again? If you like. Same to you. David, we can't just let those two seats go to waste, can we? It's up to you. Well, it's such a waste. Not exactly. The money still goes to the hospital. Oh, I see. Still, I'd hate to have the conductor turn around and see two empty seats sitting next to us with nobody sitting on them. Oh, that would never do. Mm -hmm. His feelings would be very hurt, I'm sure. Yes. Well, I might upset the whole concert for... I can just see his mind as as he's conducting away. Mm -hmm. Two empty seats. Two two empty empty seats. seats. Oh, awful. Mm -hmm. Couldn't take it. Mm -hmm. Say, Mama was here when we bought the tickets, remember? Well, we thought Roger would like to come with us, too, I remember. Oh, that Mm -hmm. made four, didn't it? Four, yes. Would have been nice. Two and two's four. Mm-hmm. David, now concentrate. Who will we invite now? Well, that's your problem, not mine. Oh, think of that poor conductor. Mm, I and those that. poor yeah. seats. Well, you think and think fast. That concert is tomorrow night. David, please don't read while I think. I can't possibly do two things at once. Can they postpone the concert, maybe? Oh, you might ask them. I might. Mm-hmm. But I don't know its phone number. Oh, I see. Now, let me see, let me see. How about a kiss, David, to get me started right? Go away. I think much better after I've been kissed. Well, that's not much of a compliment to me. Well, it was meant to be, darling. All right, then I'll I'll make a bargain with you. One kiss and off you go. Where to? To a meditative trance. Heavens, I haven't been there in years. Then lean over. You are taller than I am. I have to lean up, remember? Mm. Oh, oh. I won't be able to think for weeks after that. Now, skadoodle. Listen, we could call up Mama, see if she'd like to come out yes, to the country for the weekend. That'd settle I'm everything. Sure, I'm sure she wouldn't come. Well, I guess it is asking a little too much of the poor woman to come in all the way from Long Island into New York and up here just for a weekend. I'm glad he's not a cellist. Who is not a cellist? The concert. I couldn't bear a whole concert of cellist. Well, he happens to be in orchestra tomorrow night. I know, I know. I like a concert with an orchestra. That's good. I'm glad. Tickle pink. My mind goes off so far away at a concert. It is yours. You don't need a concert. David, I don't think you're thinking. You don't. Well, are you? In a way. All right. Then what other suggestions do you have for tomorrow night? (laughs) None so far. I'm up with you to there. I'll have to have that green dress of mine ironed. By all means. It's wonderful at ironing. You want your trousers pressed? I wouldn't mind. Certainly too bad about Mama. She likes orchestras. I tell you. We could take the two dogs and put them in the green dress. How would that do? Mm, no, they're too too big for the people sitting behind them. Mm. Wouldn't do at all. Mm-hmm. What about Jim Varney and, and someone? Jim Varney? Yes, you no, know. No, no, no. It's too last minute. Well, I never mind last minute. I think it's fun. I know, but that's you. That's what about Jared Tucker? Now, that's a good idea. We could invite Jared and Delilah. That would make four of us perfect. Yeah, but 
Jared and Delilah would have bought their own tickets by now. Oh, that's right, yes. So they would. Keep forgetting, this is Eastbrook, Connecticut. When there's a function, everybody turns out. How right you are, everybody. But In New York, there's no two singer. people ever go to yeah. the same concert, ever. Mm-hmm. Wish you'd let me finish. Is that is not a singer, either. Chorus of singers, that's the word. Mm. Excuse me, darling, I mm. didn't mean to What have you got against a chorus of singers? Well, it's just that I get so distracted looking at the fat ones and the thin ones and the tall ones and the short ones and the looks on their faces. I never hear any of the music at all. I certainly married a music lover, didn't you I? certainly did. Did I ever play the piano for you? No, thank heaven. There is one piece I play especially well, I'll Minuet bet. by Beethoven. Mm-hmm. We'll save it for when we have a piano, darling. Do you suppose we'll ever be able to afford a piano? I hope so. <sighs> it would be nice if I could play. Maybe Bobby will learn how. <laughs> You're just like every other parent. You always hope your child will be able to do the things that you couldn't. And what's the matter with that? Nothing, 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 except you're probably in for a big disappointment. Oh, I don't expect anything from my children. Too much. Well, look who their papa is. Mm, nice looking. What isn't? about George Reynolds and his wife? Now, there's an idea. You don't expect them of our children either, do you? Very clever. Yeah, I, I, I thought so. You think they would come to the concert with us? Maybe? Darling, now you're going to have to be, do much better than that. You might as well make up your mind that everybody else in Eastbrook has bought tickets of their own. Well, then what is the use of my sitting around and thinking and breaking my poor skull? Oh, because it's amusing to watch. Just for that, I think I'll come over and breathe on the back of your neck. No, not that. That's a fate worth... <laughs> now, you just try it. Listen, I've got a real idea yes, this time. Yes, I'll bet this Fritz is a real... Fritz and Bertha. Mm. Fritz and Bertha, they're, they're, they're real music lovers. Mm. What's the difference between a real music lover it's and just a... an expression, David? Mm. What do you think? I think it's the first good idea you've had since you proposed to me. Oh, that was a good idea too, mm. wasn't it? Oh, wonderful, <laughs> darling. Listen, let's invite them to come with us. <laughs> what on earth are you laughing about? Let's go ask them this minute. Such a fool! Oh, they'll love it. Do you mm. think they will? Well, why shouldn't they? Because they sort of bend over backwards. That's why. Oh. You mean because Bertha's our cook and Fritz is our farmer? You think that they'll think that we shouldn't be seen with them? Well, I don't think about it. You don't think about it, but I think Bertha does. Well, that's what comes from living in a country where social caste mm. is God. Because in the old country, they had a house and they had help, and here they are now in our house. It must be awfully difficult. But you never know it from them, would you? No, it might be difficult for us, but Fritz and Bertha, no. Darling, they're not the kind of people that life is too difficult yep, for. I guess you're right. I guess they're... Bigger than life. Come on, let's ask him. Bertha! Hey, Bertha, you in the kitchen? Yeah, Mrs. Norton, I'm just finishing something I can do. No, 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 we don't want anything, except can we talk to you for a minute? Yeah, naturally. I just finished cleaning up the kitchen. Come in, come. Good evening, come Bertha. In. Fritz around? He, he went up to the farm a minute. It, to the barn, you know, Fritz, with, when there are animals around, it is difficult to keep them separate. Well, he certainly <laughs> takes care of them. He's just like a nursemaid. I think we'll have to get in some more. <laughs> oh, he would like that. As he says, you know, the more the merrier. Well, listen, Bertha, we don't want to take up any more of your time. My but... time? My time is your time, Mrs. Norton. Now, where have I heard that before? Well, I'll just tell you quickly what we're disturbing you about. You do not disturb me. Now, please, do not keep repeating that. Well... What we want to know is if you and Fritz are free tomorrow night. You know, Julie, you're, you want company? Invite 20. No, no, Bertha, 20, no. Yeah. We would like you to go to a concert. We have two tickets for you. Fritz and I? Yeah. To a concert? Yes, at, at, at the Eastbrook Town Hall. A concert? Mm-hmm. Oh, Fritz, he loves music. Yeah. At home, we always went. Good, then it's all settled. We would love that. You see that, darling? Perfectly simple. simple. Fritz, simple. Uh, what about you? Don't you want to use the ticket? Oh, we're going, too. You go, too? Of course. The four of us will go together. Now, what about the baby? Oh, my gosh. We hadn't thought about the baby, the baby. We'll get a babysitter, of course. Uh, No, no. I'm not sure I like the sound of a sitter. Everybody gets sitters, Bertha. I do not like strangers taking care of that baby. Well, we won't get a stranger. We'll get uh, Mrs. Warren. From next door? Yes, from next door. Will she do? Well, I suppose, now, but Bertha, still... you're going to spoil that child of ours. You're worse than even his his grandmother. Oh, now, it's all settled. No more objections. Oh, good evening, Mr. Norton. And Mrs. Norton. Hello. The cow, she's fine. She says hello. Well, the way you take care of her, I wouldn't be surprised if she started talking any day now. Fritz, what do you think? Mr. and Mrs. Norton, they would like us to go to a concert tomorrow night with them. All together? Of course, all together. 
Now, what do you think? And who stays with young Mr. Norton? Hmm. You two. Oh, two of a kind. We're getting a sitter. Mrs. Warren from next door. And Bertha approved. No, I, I did not say. I think I think uh, we talked this no, over. Fritz no, and I. No, There's nothing, nothing to doing. talk about. There's no excuse for your not going. At least not a good enough excuse. It's all settled. You're doing us a big favor, you know. <laughs> we do you a favor. Sure. Taking two tickets off of our hands. Now, seriously. There's going to be some fine music, and it would be a pity to have two empty seats that can't hear it. Or, or two people who can't hear it for that matter. Oh, please come. Please. You both like fine music, and there's so little of it in the world. For the music, uh, I would love to go. Uh, but there will be people there you know. Of course there will be. There'll be people there that you'll know, too, so it'll be very pleasant. Does not seem the way it would be done in Europe. Well, it's different here. Yeah, there is a difference in this country. But especially the difference is with you. Still, Berta, uh, I think we accept, yes? I would love oh, to. Oh, wonderful. I wish it were tomorrow night already. Coming, David? Mm, just a minute. Say, uh, how's uh, mil uh, Majesty milking, Fred? <laughs> Still giving her 20 quarts, Mr. Norton. She's some cow. Well, as long as Mr. Tucker buys the milk from us, you keep her going. We will do that. We certainly are blessed, aren't we, David? What now? Same thing as ever, Fritz and Bertha. I, I, I think they're a little embarrassed, don't you? Embarrassed? Oh, I don't think so. They'll, they'll get over it. Yep. All they have to do is live on this side of the Atlantic a little longer. <laughs> well, in second thought, you're not so bad yourself. It's easy not to be so bad with you. Along with other innovations in the modern food store, you'll often see that friendly red cooler with its invitation to have a Coke and shop refreshed. If you're wise, you'll accept that suggestion. Pause for ice-cold Coca-Cola and the rest of your marketing will be pleasanter. For Coke provides the pause that refreshes, the pause that sends you on your way with a lighter step. Well, hello, Joe. Oh, David. Uh, say, have you got a minute? Oh, me? Sure. What's wrong? Well, nothing's wrong. I just wanted to tell you that you were right. That I was right? Right about what? Well, have you forgotten that you bet me 20 cents that Claudia will even get fun out of a concert? Oh, yeah, yeah, so I did. But I think she's going to get a little bit more than fun out of it. Claudia didn't invite Fritz and Bertha for fun. She invited them because she's a nice girl from start to finish. Hey, you seem to be in love with her. Hmm. I am in love with her. And I like her. That's even more important. I wonder if I see what you mean. Well, you, uh, you're married, aren't you, Joe? Yeah. Oh, I guess that's my answer. When you like the person that you love, that's marriage. And it's exciting. Yep. Yep, you bet your boot it is. Uh, mind if I come to the concert, too, and see how it turns out? Oh, come on along, Joe. Good. See you tomorrow, then, David. As I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. Now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>